Good afternoon. This webinar will cover how to set up corporate accounts and processing billing to those accounts. Corporate accounts are accounts where a business in town like let's say Bob's Auto Shop would allow or set agreement with your facility where all of his employees get a special rate and the owner of Bob's Auto Parts would pay you each month for however many employees are working at your uh, working out at your facility. The two main factors to remember in corporate accounts and setting up corporate billing is number one, the corporate account never has a membership. The corporate account exists as a member in your system and only has an account on the accounts tab. They do not have any contracts or agreements linked to that member record. You're going to make a phony record in your system called Bob's Auto Parts. Let me do that now. Bob's Auto Parts. You would fill out the rest of the info as normal and then click Save. Now I have a record that's called Bob's Auto Parts. You will never enter an agreement on this record, but you will create an account on this record. So we're going to click Add New Account, and we're going to make the payment method invoice. We want to click Third Party Account in the bottom left because all of his employees are going to be linked to this account, and all their billing will be added up on this invoice so you can see each employee's name and how much that Bob is going to have to pay for all of his employees that have joined your facility. I'm going to head, click Save on this account. Now, this, remember, step number one, the corporate account does not have any memberships or agreements. It's just a member record with an account on the Accounts tab. The second part is none of the employees have an account all of the employees will have a, an agreement contract or a membership here on the memberships tab but they will not have accounts on the accounts tab so let's go back to the member screen I'm going to add a new member and we're going to do John Smith now I don't want to enter in John Smith's membership because when I get to the point where I need to connect him to the corporate account that account is not here well you can see is add new account so you would wind up making an account just for John we want to use Bob's auto parts account okay so I'm gonna cancel the screen I need to go back to Bob Bob's auto parts go back to the account I'm going to edit the account down at the bottom I'm going to click on account users and I'm going to add John Smith to this account. I guess that doesn't work. Let's scroll down a little bit. Now John Smith is a user of this account. Okay, you would add all of the employees to this account. And then save. Now I can go back to John Smith. I can enter in his membership. Let's add a new contract. Let's say he's a junior. Uh, one year. It's an invoice payment type. Membership start date is today. Membership end date is a year out. Total amount is $600. On the billing info tab, we'll put in payments number one payment frequency will be monthly payment rate let's say it's $35 billing start date actually that should be next month let's do the first of next month we're going to put open in the billing end date because we're going to turn on auto renew so it just bills forever now when we get to the billing account drop down and we click we see Bob's auto parts account is here so now we can link his agreement John Smith's agreement is now using the Bob's Auto Account, Auto Parts Account. John Smith does not have an account here on the screen. You can see that. 
We're going to add one more person in. Let's add in Tony Baloney. Let's save Tony. And then we're going to find Bob's Auto Parts. Go to that account. Edit that account. Put Tony Baloney in as a member, as an as a user of that account. Now I can go back to Tony. Go to his membership screen. I'll add a new agreement on his screen. We'll make it one year invoice. Start date today. One year out, 600. Billing info, one monthly payment rate. Let's say his is $40. So we can see two different totals here. And his billing is going to start on July 1st. So let's go 7 slash 1. Make that open again. And once again, we're using Bob's Auto Parts primary billing account invoice. Now, when you go to process your billing, I'm going to go ahead and get data for July 1st. <clears throat> now, you might see a few people show up here, but I, I just did billing previously as a demo. So we're only seeing Mr. Smith and Mr. Baloney on the screen. I'm going to process these dues on the transaction screen. I create my batches. I don't need to enter invoice dates because when I go to print or preview my invoices, it's going to ask me again anyway. So the batch that I made today was from June 30th. Well, let's choose invoices at 548. Let's click preview. Our invoice date is today. Invoice due date, let's say it's the 15th of next month. Now, in the top left, it would have your club name and address. Down here, you would have Bob's Auto Parts name and address. I didn't put an address in, that's why it's not there. But here in the middle, you would see a list of every single employee. You can see their name, their member number, and their membership type, and the amount they're paying, and a total at the bottom. So Bob's Auto Parts owes $75 for this month's billing. Down at the bottom is, of the invoice is a coupon that they can cut off and send back in with the payment, a check, credit card, or whatever they're paying with. And that's about it for corporate billing. Very simple. Just remember rule one, the corporate account does not have any memberships or agreements on it. Rule number two, the member does not have an account. So the member only has an agreement and the corporate account only has an account. Just remember those two rules and you won't get confused. If you want to watch this in full view, full screen view, press Alt Enter on your computer or I think you can double click in the middle of the screen in Windows Media Player. Have a great day.